it is Blue Psycon, one of my favorite events of the year. I'm so excited to uh, to be able to share some opening thoughts. Um, but it's really as a lament to myself because I've been very busy with uh, different personal and professional uh, things this past year, and especially this summer, and I've not been able to meet a lot of the YSPs, which has actually saddened me quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to take this opportunity to say hello again. Um, if you haven't found me on LinkedIn yet, please do so. Put a little message uh, in the box there when you ask for a request that you remember the YSP. I would love to be at least at minimal connected um, via LinkedIn. Um, but today really is not really, a, it's not about me. Um, it is about all of you. Um, today we're really celebrating you as a human and you as your achievement uh, in doing incredible work over the past three months. Um, for those of you on the online program, a bit longer for those of you on the AIMS program. But wow, it is really difficult to begin a program not knowing really what you're getting into, not knowing many people around, meeting a bunch of new faces from all over the world. It can be intimidating and overwhelming, and you expect it to produce material of high quality enough that you can present today. So that's in itself, it's a huge accomplishment. But also today, we're not celebrating your full accomplishment. We're only celebrating the science that you've accomplished. And the YSP is a lot more than just science, as you know. You went through a lot of workshops in scientific computing, science communication, science policy, storytelling, and ethical thinking. And all of these have to be celebrated as well. It is a lot of work. The YSP is not easy. And all of you that started, not all of you will finish because it is, it is a very difficult program. And so the YSP really has been designed to act as the foundation for your scientific citizenship. And I wrote scientific citizenship here and not scientific career because let's be real, not all of us will become professional scientists. A lot of you will, will be, which is great. Some of you will go into business, into different types of professional activities that may not be active research. And that's perfectly okay. The world needs a bunch of people doing a bunch of different things. But having the scientific mindset, I think is gonna benefit you um, all over your career. And whether it's the ability to rationally approach a data set or to analyze it to make rational decisions, or as the ethical thinking uh, program has, has uh, showed you, that you will encounter people uh, who will have different opinions as you do. And that's need to be okay as well, right? Hopefully the whaling study has, uh, has shown you that, you know, we have to engage in conversations that are sometimes difficult and they might not be an easy answer. And that's the truth about uh, living in a global society because of our difference in backgrounds, whether they're economical, political, or religious, we all see the world differently. And that's okay, as long as we have a foundation on which to communicate. And it's sometimes based on your value system, as uh, Jacob did an amazing job this summer at teaching us how to do that. Your career is gonna be awesome, for one. You're all capable of doing so much more than you think you can. And I hope that the YSP this summer has emphasized this to you. Your career is going to be long, it's going to be marvelous, and it's also going to be completely unplannable. <laughs> That's okay, too. When I was your age, I was an aerospace engineer, right? I was thinking about airplanes, I was thinking about constellation of small airplanes, and today I am a geochemist thinking about astrobiology. It seems crazy, but in hindsight, the events that happened made perfect sense, right? Your career is unplannable because you don't know how are you gonna change as you continue to grow in your life? What opportunities you're gonna come across? What people you're gonna come across who will inspire you? And so these things make sure you keep an eye open for, right? I think it's dangerous to be fixated on a goal because you will lose the opportunity to see all the opportunities that can um, come with you. But we live in a world that's very go, 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 instant gratification, instant um, needs to, to feel valued, you know, in the world of YouTube and TikTok and so on. Um, so the suggestion I have today is fight the temptation to make your career about yourself, right? We all feel the pressures of needing to do well, especially in science, getting funding, publishing papers, getting awards when we can, because it is a tough world out there. How do we 
how do we extract ourselves from the pack? But I want to make the argument here that you will have a more sustainable and happier career if the goal of your career is to bring others with you in your journey, right? Giving other people around you wings will elevate you, right? The best policy you can have for your life is one to be generous. Generous with your time, generous with knowledge, and being generous with all these things will help lift yourself up as well. It's a tough world out there, and it's just really difficult to do it on your own. And having a community that I hope you have been able to build a little bit with your YSP cohort and with your mentors and the broader BMSIS community, that will help you elevate yourself as you go along with your career. One of my favorite uh, writers is Barbara Ward. Uh, she was active in the 1960s and 1970s. She passed away in 1981, a long time ago. But she was a, in all her books, she's extremely optimistic about humanity, which is why I enjoy reading her and with a clarity of language that few authors have. Um, but one of her quotes um, actually is from an interview she gave. Uh, she writes that you can only handle the enormous forces of reality in the humble spirit and with the greatest possible care and attention. And that means being open to what the other humans around you are going through. Being aware that it's not about giving advice for a career, but it's about listening. And sometimes that's the hardest thing to do, to just say nothing and just listen and hear how are people doing. Even I, I find it difficult when have people approached me with difficulties. I have a tendency to want to give advice, but I just need to be better myself about still internalizing and just listening. It's a skill that takes lifelong to build. And that's okay. We don't have to be perfect at everything we do, right? Life is a journey. The scientific career in particular, and most of them as well, is a, is a difficult one, right? It really is. There's only a finite resources to feed an increasing number of scientists uh, all over the world. And so it's one that for multiple reasons, you shouldn't go through alone. One, because it is difficult. And so it's good and important to have a community around which that can, you can bounce ideas with and go through difficult times with. But also, as hopefully you learned this summer, especially in the ethical thinking course, is that sometimes based on your education, your background, you don't have all the different ways in your mind to approach a problem. And so having people in your teams, whether they are scientific teams or business teams that have a broad set of backgrounds, um, will help you assess problems from different perspectives. I think that's a point I made on, on day one when we first met. And that's certainly true today, and I hope that the YSP has emphasized that point as you did your projects, perhaps with other YSPs from all parts of the world, working with a mentor that is not from where you're from. So keep that in mind that you know, it's, it's, it's okay to reach out and build your community. It's okay to reach out and ask for help. It's okay to reach out and say, you don't know a particular detail about the topic you're working on. And so as you are within our last week, many of you are in the last week with us. We'll talk more again uh, next Thursday, Graham and I will, as the last, uh, as the last webinar, but you all will, fly away from the blue marble nests into very exciting careers. But know that you're always welcome back here at, at BMSIS. Uh, hopefully you will keep in touch. Those of you who will finish and get the certificate, you'll be invited to join the alumni group. And there are 150 people, if not more, almost 200 there, of YSPs that are ahead of you career-wise, who've gone through the challenges some of you are about to, to jump into and connect with them. Look at who has graduated. Now you have something in common with all these people from all over the world, right? You all are graduates of the YSP. Take advantage of that network, right? We are all here as a community to help each other out as best we can. It's of course okay when you ask for help and somebody says they're too busy, one needs to be understandable uh, about that, right? Life just takes a bunch of different turns and sometimes we just fall, our bandwidth is just full and that needs to be respected. But, you know, please don't fly too far away. Know that there's always an email away from um, where you left off from. We're all so proud of you that you've gone through this journey with us. 
But today, enough about me, enough about my perhaps philosophical aspects, because I didn't get a chance to actually engage with you all on a more personal basis. We're really celebrating you and your achievements. And uh, I'm really excited for a day of extraordinary talks. Thank you again for all this. And thank you, Graham, for your leadership this summer in keeping us all going at a steady pace and getting things done to, uh, to reach where we are today.